Hello friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. You will find out where I am in just a second, but first, let me tell you what's going on so that you're in the know around the water cooler and in car line today. Uh, three were rescued from an avalanche in Poland. The NFL commissioner is finally speaking out about that controversial call against the Saints. Rafael Nadal proposed to his girlfriend of 14 years while in Rome. Speaking of proposals, hang on just a second. And it's National Backward Day. Did you see that? <laughs> if you missed any of that, you know I'm going to put it below. Of course, you can find me at the Sammy Cohn on Twitter and Instagram, SammyCohn.com, and on YouTube. While you're there, please thumbs up, hearts, likes, all those things so we can keep the conversation going even after the dash is done. Okay. So I alluded to something yesterday that I was getting to do that's really fun, and now I'm here. I am at the grand opening of Sound Waves Nashville at the Gaylord Opryland Resort and Convention Center. I know, I know you saw me already ride the Flow Rider a couple weeks ago. You've seen me here, but this was the official grand opening. We had the mayor here. We had executives from Marriott and from Ryman, and more importantly, we did crowd surfing for a cause this morning. I've got it all on Facebook Live, so you can catch up on those. But I just wanted to take a moment. They haven't shown us this yet. Leave it to me to bring you the breaking news. I am coming to you from one of the cabanas inside of Soundways Nashville. So for those of you that don't know, if you're just catching this for the first time, Soundways Nashville is a water attraction unlike any other in North America. True, don't call it a water park. Do not call it a water park. It is so much more. I'll give you a quick 360 in just a second. But I am in one of the cabanas right now. And if you couldn't tell by a little bit of the decor, let me show you. I told you, speaking of proposals, can you guess what the theme for this is? See the natural, oh, you can't see it says bachelorette. Literally, bachelorette party. We've got pink cups, there's disco balls. Look at this. Now, let me take you to the other two that have got decked out and I'm sure these can be transferred for anything you're celebrating so they've got a guys theme here kind of like the sports weekend we've got the leather couch they've got sports center on the TV all of this going on and then if you come over here this is where I'm gonna find myself later I promise look at this chair they have the spa set up here with the bamboo Look at all of the goodies. So I don't know all that goes on, but this is obviously an extra feature that you can get as part of Soundways. Now let me give you a little tour here. So up there you see the kids area, they call Half Note Co. And then if you pan around here, you'll see everything from the beautiful waterfalls, all the gorgeous plants, Right directly below me that you can't see is the Lazy River. You've got the rock climbing wall. All of the slides are actually behind um, that area over there, the tubes, the body slides. And then the infamous Flow Rider is over that way, the adult only area where we just had an incredible brunch. I will share some of that with you. If you don't think of food when you come to Opryland, you need to start. Delicious food, healthy food, decadent food, indulgent food. They had thought of it all. I just had one of the best chocolate croissants I've ever had in my life, and I've lived in Paris. That's saying something. So again, this is an amenity. If you are a, um, a guest, not only at the resort, but if you buy a water attraction package to Soundways, they also have special Davidson County residents. So those of you that live in Nashville, Davidson County, there are special rates so you all can take advantage of this. So. I am very thankful to be a guest of Opryland here, and I'll be honest, I had some guilt about coming here without my family because it's during the week, I'm not going to take the kids out of school, and I really debated whether or not to do it, and I thought, you know what, this is part of my work, this is part of what I have to do, and I shouldn't feel guilty for traveling without my family. Hey, Tina, you can vouch for me. As much as I love sharing these experiences with my family, I think there's power in us, especially as moms, taking some time to do something for ourselves, to pamper ourselves. And that helps me to be able to recharge and come back to my family as a better wife and mom and just a better individual. Um, our friend Clarissa has written some great tips for traveling without kids. I'm gonna link to those too. And yes, Flock Events is having their 
conference here in March. I've got a discount code for any of my blogger friends watching. But I just want to pray over you all independent, that we would have be independent of thought, that we would always um, think of those around us, but that we would also do what is right, uh, regardless of what others think or say about us. Okay, friends. Amen. Yes, I pray you have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.